Hey everyone, welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. I've gone through uh, every character except the robot at this point, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll do it. I'll just do it because uh, I started over here, I think, on stuff. Gotta get an M16. And I guess I gotta get an airstrike. Cool. So, I don't think I'm even quite done with this. Five gun nuts, that's not too bad. And I'm gonna piece on out of here. I don't think I started over here, because, you know... I'm sure all the stuff is useful, and I'm sure as I get more of it, the game gets easier because I get more good items, but... I already know as well that some of them are not good. So, first off, let's get the things so would those things join the shootout. So I've got an item that spills coolant, and this is great because the robot has electricity on all its shots, and that electricity can be used for great damage with water. So coolant is water enough. All right, let's do the smart thing and zoom out our map. All right, this is fun. It's so nice not to have to worry about capes anymore. Just kill everybody. So of course I'm relatively willing to bet I pressed the wrong key to roll. I don't know how or why. But that's what happened, so that's a pr pretty bad start. But I always do badly with the robot. I never survive all that long. Except those times I won, but that's not the point. Thanks for a blank, I guess. So we do have one key. We have not yet gotten a key drop, so... Eh, screw it. Let's fight the boss now, maybe it'll give me a key. And flying enemy, so I can't use my electricity on it. I pressed space really early, and it activated really late. That seems to happen mid-roll. That's why I don't like rolling. That should have hit me, honestly. Uh, rolling just seems to screw me over when I want to blank. But blanks in general seem to activate late for me. So I need to activate them earlier than I know I need to use them. But that one I did hit really early. So, you know, whatever. One other thing, though, robot, just like the bullet, has a one frame shorter roll animation, apparently. Or invincibility frames, at least. If not the animation itself. So that absolutely should have been a no-hit, because that blank should have worked, but... What's a guy to do? RPG's an okay gun. Why did that pop up, as though I hadn't gotten one before? That's very strange. I don't think... that, uh... that makes sense. I don't think there's an update or anything. Oh, also, the robot's the only character that isn't damaged by its own electricity, so its item that gives you the electric shots is actually really bad, as it turns out. Unless you're the robot. So, you know. That's always good to know. And you apparently can't drop it as anyone. So you can't sell it. So if you pick it up, you're stuck with it. It's good stuff. Okay. Neat. Alright, I'll come back for you. I'm definitely interested in you, though. What is that? 
Riddle of Lead. I forgot, but I think I've had this before. Uh, or not. Maybe it's just a chance not to get hit, though, when uh, something hits me. I need a lot more keys now. I have a pretty decent amount of money. So maybe this works out just fine. I just need one key drop somewhere. But I also need to buy armor. That was a really late roll. Ring of Mimic Friendship. That's like a really, really important purchase. Also, okay, it's not here. I've, I've got to get that. And then this is 25, so I need things to go well. I don't have anything that I can sell at the moment. Unfortunate, but to be expected. That doesn't help me at all, you know, video game. That guy was shooting all sorts of places. Okay, so that's enough for one key. I mean, if I have to skip that unknown blue chest... This is a gun. Blue chest guns are pretty good. So... I'm not upset with that at all. The triple crossbow is a very, very good weapon. And then this is my secret room, hopefully, maybe. Nope. Never lucky. That's not a big deal. So we will head on over to the place that is the next floor. Triple crossbow I really do quite like. An RPG has its uses. All right, they won't get hit by it, really, because they track their own stuff. Nice. Uh, just to get that out of the way. And we found the shop immediately. So I can pick up any other key drops I get right away. Excellent. So I've guaranteed that there's a key in this here shop. Heavy boots, which means no more knockback. Backpack means extra uh, use item I can carry, I think. So now that we're set on keys for the floor, as long as I get some money, which I should, uh, we're good for the standard chests. I can do what I want. And I just need to go back and buy that key early. Because you should always enter a chest room with enough keys to open a chest. Though, Ring of Mimic Friendship is the one that means that I can just open Mimics without having to fight them. Which is rad. Hey, buddy. Just gonna make sure on that. I, yeah, I think that... Yeah, preventing them from attacking. So that's the one where I get to just open Mimics if I find them. So the next thing that would be awesome to get would be the um, Mimic Tooth Necklace, which means all chests are Mimics. Then I don't need keys at all. And then all of the chests are free. That's most commonly found in the key vendor, the lock dude that I forgot the name of because I never really knew his name. There we go. Why are there no gun nuts? I don't think I've seen a single one. That's fine, though. Alright, found the boss. I'll do it. Uh, this is a good boss for the electricity. Whoops.
Alright, I'm gonna kill this thing. And since the triple crossbow slows, keeping it in the electricity really effectively, that was a free no-hit. And that's actually one of the harder bosses on the first two floors, in my opinion. We got two armor for this, which is huge. Smiley's revolver ain't too bad, either. So I need some ammo for the triple crossbow about now, but that's not a big deal. Also, the robot's right hand is or left hand, whatever this is, is one of the best starting items. Because you can just keep using this gun for an extended period of time. Much like the bullets starting weapon. So. That's always good. I rolled in time. Anyway, the thing about it is, of course, that it's got a huge ammo. Uh, it's very accurate. And at least its damage seems fine, or maybe that's just because you can just keep shooting it forever for, like, so accurately. Either way, I'm fine with it. Alright, I'm gonna go to the shop and buy a key now. How much is this? 31. Alright, good to know. You are airstrike. That seems like it's probably pretty good. I think I'll keep that. This doesn't have a super grade. No. Ah, he got it. That's fine. I decided that I wanted to keep this, so... This is fine. This is one of the items that I just got, of course. He is not the guy. Mutation's solid. Barrel's actually solid as well. This run, like, wants me to succeed, but I'm playing the robot, so I probably won't. Is how I see this. Alright, cool it. So this item does have a much, much longer cooldown. Than the robot's item, but that's fine. Oh wow, that only takes one mag. That's pretty wild. Since, of course, the triple crossbow does go between two shooting modes. Didn't know that the triple one would be that much more useful on those guys. I didn't think that the damage changed all that much between the two shooting modes. I figured it was just like when it shot three at once three times, those were less damage. But I guess it's really just an accuracy penalty and not a damage penalty in any way. Good to know. Oh, this guy. All good. Alright, so there should be the other chest. Ah, oh, sniper's not bad either. Alright, and we're still not done. This is crazy. Floor that just keeps on flooring. As always. I knew that one would be a path. I didn't know for sure if it would or wouldn't have an item, but you know. I'm gonna buy this key now. No, I'm gonna buy the ammo. Okay, that's just that room. Of course. Alright, I'm happy with how this floor went. Check for the secret room, now that we're done. And I keep not nailing it. 
That's okay, today's just not my day. Goodbye, cruel world. And away we go, chamber three. Okay, that is the shortcut. Well, that was like pretty stressful, honestly. Because there was a lot going on in that room. I'm very surprised to have not gotten hit. But I'm pleased. Because, you know, that went pretty great. <clears throat> I wish I could have also gotten the key last floor. But, you know, can't win them all. You suck. I hate you. I just want you to know that. Too bad it's totally not worth using the airstrike here, I don't think. Could have used it last room. That would have maybe been worth. But another thing that I'm kind of not adding into my considerations even though I am and that's why I'm talking about it right now is that since it's explosive that means that they'll destroy enemy bullets and that's like really useful so I should perhaps save it for bosses like I said anything where Gets a little hairy. Nope. Everything's fine. And as you can see, even on the third floor, it's still not a big deal for me to be using my starting gun. Hey, 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 now. Everything's fine. There we go. I can't use that, I'm sorry. I don't want to go in there yet. This room does have a teleporter, so I can get there later. But without any keys, it's not worth. That's what the takeaway is. Okay. I'm not getting very much money. Considering I haven't been hit in so long. Which I, I was a little reluctant to say. Because of course that means I'm going to get hit within the next, like, five seconds. But, you know, happens when it happens. I do think my aim is true. This one's a tougher one, I'd say. Okay. Got them all, though. Oh, well, you don't say. <laughs> hey, I like watching this gun just materialize. So yeah, you know, I would say that was a worthwhile investment of my money. See, the way I see those rooms is I'm practically guaranteed to get three, and three for the cost of a key still gets me a good chest. good enough that I would say it is at least a good trade for a key, if not like a fantastic trade for a key.
Railgun's like real good. Like I just want to show it off once. It freaking destroys. So, game's trying to help me out. Got somebody looking out for me. Okay, so. Cog of Battle is pretty good. Key is 30. I will be able to do that. I really hope that I can find another key, like, at, at all, on this floor, so I can, you know, open both chests. But at least getting one is good. Alright, let's do it. Okay, I want to do this. That's the stuff right there. That was my fault. I, I don't know what blanking did for me there, but the answer was nothing. I could have easily no hit that one. I just did a dumb. Uh, these are worth it with perfect accuracy weapons, but that would mean I would have to stop using my thing. I should be able to drop it. Wait, maybe these are, these are a different one. These are the one that slows down time during explosions. We're fine. Uh, did I get money? I did get money. So that was a lot of dumb damage because I'm bad. Don't worry about it, though. Let's go to this chest. But of course, because I don't know the other one yet, I'm not going to open this one unless I have to. Which I don't. So if the other one's a better rarity chest, and isn't a mimic, I already know what I'm doing. Alright. Got this guy. Just had to make sure to lead that in the wrong way. Chests are going to be like right next to each other. And by the way, I was thinking during that boss, when am I going to use my active item? And then all the dodges were really easy until I totally screwed myself over. Which the active item would not have saved me from, so I kind of figured. Sure. So I kind of figured that it just wasn't going to get used. And I accepted that. Alrighty. Great. They're both the same. Alright. Oh. Oh, man, I'm going to keep that instead. Singularity is just a one-time black hole and is super good. All right, away we go. Check both of these for secret rooms. No, wait, I already used one. So we're good. Away we go. I've got all these good guns, and it doesn't even matter because I have the rail gun, which is like the best gun. Oh man, the rail gun though. Thank you for dying. This will be no problem. As you can see, this gun still does work. Oh, well, I guess I'll keep my railgun nice and full. Don't mind if I do. I 
I couldn't find him in time. Which sucks, but if I kill him, the thing will go down. So I can kill it. So that's the good side. Of course, the best would have been if I didn't let it spawn in the first place, but I'm using an infinite ammo gun still, so it's not a quite a big a deal. Uh, okay, none of those were special rooms of any sort. I need more mimics. I haven't gotten a single one. And they're what saved me from the fact that I'm not getting keys. Nor money, really. Like, help me out. I also don't know what the Riddle of Lead does yet. So, you know, that's that's always good. Too bad I had to reload right then and there. All worked out. That room has so many paths off of it. Alright, let's kill the Bulletkin first, because he's going to shoot the most. Then this guy. Then these things, because they don't matter. No still die in one hit, because they wusses. And that'll be not what I expected. Nice, I actually killed that thing before it could do the stuff. Nice, a key. Uh, this is chamber four. All right, I will come back for you. I had no way of knowing that was going to be the special chest room, so going in there without a key isn't the worst thing that could happen. It didn't screw me over, so it's fine, basically. So I guess I'm doing really well because I'm playing this really patient. Since I'm using such a bad gun. I think I have full ammo for everything. I sure do. Oh yeah, I can activate slow-mo whenever I want. Nice, that actually got him. And this still kills these guys in like two hits. That's pretty good. Nice. Unfortunately, the other things that spawned weren't dudes that are going to summon extra enemies. So everything's working out. <clears throat> In the end, I'm not dying. That's not where I wanted that to go. Well, that didn't go according to plan even... Uh, like a little bit. This is fine. That was close. Get your reload on. Alright, everything's fine. I like how I hit that guy with its own water. That was a close one. This is good though. No thanks. Dang, man. You guys wanted to summon too much. Couldn't stop their dreams. Nice, just bulletkin now. Why, why aren't you dead yet? Thank you. I don't need red heart drops at all. Just so you know. Silly video game. Black hole did work. 
Uh, how is this looking on the map? Okay. So this will meet up right here. I wonder what makes it go dark. Because, like, I know these things often come with darkness. But I don't know. Okay, just don't shoot me and I forgive you. That should have probably shot me. I'm a lucky man occasionally. I mean, this run's been full of really good luck, like these guns and active items and stuff. Everything has been pretty fantastic except the amount of health that I haven't gotten. To be fair, I have not needed it at all. So I guess there's that too. I've lost about four health. That's what I thought this was gonna be. All right, that's fine. I'll. I want to charge my item first. And I'd really like it if I got a, gosh darn key. So I could open those two green chests. Like they're both green. I'm gonna do this. Got a lot of blanks, but I aim worse. That's not. That's not good at all. that means I might have to use like other guns still I would roll again oh wow I actually got him now, how much does your one key cost 32 on it all right, that's everything. So what are you? Okay, gun. So what are you as far as an item? <sighs> Dodge up. So faster rolls. This is good. Oh, this is actually a really good boss for this. Alright, this is fine. And uh, you can kind of tell why. really easy fight with this gun. This is also, like, probably the easiest fight in uh, Area 4, in my opinion. Jolter's okay. Uh, we, we're pretty much full of okay guns. I'm not gonna check for the secret room too much. I'll look here. Wait, I need to check the shrine room as well. I should have checked that first, because if it has a path downward, then there's a decent chance that it's got it. Or either direction, really. Okay, it doesn't, so it's not here. Okay, I'm gonna peace out then. Not even worth trying, man. Not even worth trying. Sure, why not? Like, the black hole freaking kills stuff really effectively. And my basic pistol still kills stuff really effectively. Okay, that won't hit me, and away we go.
Jolter is like actually solid. I wasn't a, a kidder there. That was a very late roll. I keep forgetting that that thing's gonna happen. I really hate those things. But like, there's no excuse for just forgetting it's in that room. Repeatedly. I decided to screw it. Could have just used the Jolter though, I guess. Wow, what a dodge. So this is where it falls apart. I start making bad dodges suddenly. I do seem to have this like mental block with this area though. The forge just like kills me for no good reason whatsoever. Eh, I don't need to worry about them. Like, there's no sensible reason that I suck so much at this area. Because, like, the stuff that I've been getting hit on hasn't been hard compared to the stuff that I was dodging perfectly before. It's a logical step up. I didn't know that my uh, stone would block the fat shot and prevent it from spawning any like other shots. That's very interesting news. Thank you for dying. So that's a chest. Uh, there's no keymanip on this floor. Because the shop will almost never be selling keys. And you can't influence that. Oh, hello. That probably should have killed me. How come you guys don't get set on fire? That seems pretty rigged to me. Screw it, basically. is fine. So now I'm going to stop throwing this run away and make my epic come back on one health, right? That's how this is going down. Items recharge while active. Oh, that's really good. The funny thing is, like, I don't need to use any of these guns. It's not like they're that much better for me than my basic gun. I just need to not be bad at video game. Wow, there's the key. Ammo? How much ammo have I used? Doing it. Okay, this is the robot's right hand. Oh, okay. I mean, that's a death. That's cool. That's no problem. Lore Gunjurer. That thing really did spawn on top of me. I don't feel all that bad about that being the hit that killed me. I feel bad about, like, all the damage I took that floor because I was pathetic, but, like, otherwise, that was a really good run. That was, like, fantastic. So, that is going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.